Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to the Battle of Bohemia. We are, of course, playing Pike and Shot campaigns as the Swedes. Uh, first things first, guys, I want to break this unit. This battle is so close. Um, and excuse me, did I say Bohemia? This is the Battle of Bavaria, as a matter of fact. Um, we're going to go ahead and open fire here, and I'm trying to break this unit. Now, we've already fragmented them. Uh, if we can go ahead and hit them one more time with some with some gunfire, I think we can break them. Uh, we could also charge into them, but I'm trying to actually save this charge if I can. In this case, it doesn't look like we're going to have a chance to do that. So we're going to go ahead, impact the enemy, and not as good of a charge as I expected. I wanted to do more damage than that, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, and that's what we are right now. <laughs> we need to take whatever we can get. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and open fire on the Karassiers. I could also shoot this unit, uh, and this horse unit would get shot twice, um, but I think I can also hit the Karassiers twice. So let's take a look, and yes, we can. So let's go ahead and open fire with our Pike and Shot unit. We're getting some uh, return fire here, and of course, we still have a lot of battles going on in this area. We also still have a lot of enemy units to deal with, and uh, if we don't defeat them soon, I fear that we may or may not uh, win this battle. Um, let's go ahead here and actually go towards the enemy lines, continue firing. I also like this uh, position because we can really open fire at all the enemies in this area with our residual shooting phase. So let's go ahead and shoot. Uh, not very effective fire at the moment. Um, and actually, we might be able to go and chase this guy down. But I think we're going to let him get away because we want to return these guys to the fight uh, and really put a hurting on the enemy. Let's go ahead and shoot their horse unit. We'll bring back our dragoons, or at the very least, we'll go ahead and chase the enemy, or maybe even get the dragoons behind them. That might be a good idea. Let's try that. So we are now getting the dragoons behind the enemy troops. Let's go ahead and open fire there at the horse unit. And I want to make sure I've moved everybody else that we have had to move. And indeed, it looks like we've moved everyone. These guys are disrupted, which is is not great and down here of course our men are still in mortal combat with the enemy uh, and I don't know if they could survive that mortal combat over here as well a uh, one serious issue is the enemy unit would beat us in close combat but I'm wondering if we turn this guy this way all right open fire and engage him maybe just maybe we can win so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna open fire again on this guy uh, doing some damage right there. He's disrupted now, and now we're going to charge. And once again, we're still not doing very well, so I'm going to open fire instead of charging. Uh, it is a pretty nasty musket shot, but you can see they disrupted us too. So neither of us did very well there, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's move this horse this way. And we shall end the turn soon. I just, like I said, guys, this battle is very tedious and very important. Um, we're so close to winning, but we're also so close to losing. Uh, <coughs> it's going to be one or the other, obviously. Uh, but either way, it's going to be very close. So let's go ahead and end our turn. It is the residual shooting phase. All right, there we go. Some par uh, parliamentarians, some enemy units disrupted. We broke the enemy unit here, the enemy cavalry. And hopefully we're going to go ahead and crash into the rest of the enemy cavalry here. Uh, it looks like we managed to auto-break. Uh, the enemy pike and shot, and our Swedish salvo of foot once again making that amazing charge. Uh, they won us the battle last time. Let's see if they can win us the battle this time. All right, our veteran horse unit still brave as ever, holding on, uh, despite the fact that they're being attacked badly. Um, they're taking a lot of damage here. Um, and there we go. More enemy units routing. Those enemy units also routing. I'm wondering if this is going to uh, ensure us victory. Uh, as long as our cavalry on this side can keep holding off, maybe we have a chance. All right, that's our cavalry trying to kill the enemy unit, of course. They've rallied. It's not something I like to see at all. Um, and over here, more damage, and my men are falling back. At least they didn't break, but they certainly could very soon here. All right, here we go. Yes, we managed to break an enemy pike and shot unit, guys. Another enemy pike and shot unit. Come on, guys. You can do this. You can do this. Guys, we must believe in Gustavus Adolphus, uh, for he is the true king here. And, of course, we are hitting the enemy. We're actually impacting them once again uh, because we continued the charge and managed to rout them. Uh, that's awesome. Indecisive. Dispersed. Beautiful. We just got some prisoners that are Karasiers. Now it's going to be the Catholic turn to go ahead and show us their medal. And as you can see, those reinforcements are arriving at the field. Uh, these peasants are not happy to see all of their friends uh, dead on the field. And there we go. Some really nice shot on that enemy. I'm glad that I turned towards him. Um, just as long as the enemy doesn't do any flanking attacks on me, which I don't think they will. Um, and let's see if we can crash into these infantry units and waste them. There we go. That horseman's getting close. And I'm fearing that attack by the cavalry, that flank attack, does look like it's about to get here. Uh, so we really do need more plans to ultimately get a certain victory here. All right, let's see. 
Oh boy, that's not good. So the enemy shot us with their Arkabazir unit and actually got us to break. Uh, that unit was very close to breaking, and that's unfortunate. Some residual shooting here by our men. Come on, guys. Make one of them run. Disrupted. All right, we're disrupting a Karasia unit, guys. That's That puts a smile on my face. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I've done a little bit of research on Karasias. Uh, Karasias have a metal plate on their chest, which makes them... Uh, almost invulnerable to musket fire at a long range. At a short range, of course, you can take them out. Here we go. Yes, we got a rallied horse unit. Sadly, we also have a dispersed horse unit. And of course, those guys have been running the entire battle. It seems like they never stop. Um, and we actually managed to win that battle against the enemy dragoons. Maybe our fight is turning in our favor on the cavalry side of things. Okay, here we go. More melee damage and... Look at those veteran horse. Incredible. Uh, they've got to get some sort of award at the end of this battle, no matter what, for holding out so long. They have held since basically the first turn. Here we go. A rear attack, and that's bad for us. One of our units auto-broke, um, and all because they were chasing an enemy unit. And once again, another flank attack by the enemy. I hope that we don't auto-break there, but that is a pain. We don't want to deal with that. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about this guy. I'm going to start opening fire. Breaks. All right. Awesome. So we got another unit to break. This one is disrupted. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open fire on him too before attacking. In fact, we're going to go ahead and charge. Forget it. We got this guy. Uh, 40. And we can bring in this guy as well. Even though he's disrupted, he could probably do pretty good, uh, pretty well against the enemy too. So here we go. Boom. Impacting against the enemy as well. And let's take a look. Can this pike and shot unit? No, this guy is retreating. Uh, this one can't do much either because he's chasing someone. And same with this guy. A lot of our pike and shot units are in the process of chasing enemy units, uh, which is quite funny. Uh, you can see just how wild the battle has been. All right, let's see. Swedish salvo with foot. I'm going to go ahead and turn. We still got this unit, of course. Uh, I'm going to open up on the Karasis. Three. Eight, seven. I mean, we, we just have to keep this fire up. I, I don't see what else we could do. Let's go ahead and turn towards them so they don't get any flanking shots on us. Six. I'm surprised that they're not breaking yet. And we are just going to continue that volley of fire, taking down this Karazi again one way or another. Uh, and they're still not down. These guys are tough, I must admit. All right, let's turn towards them again. Beautiful. Uh, more shots. Not what I expected. I, I wanted to get better shots than that, but we'll take it. And let's move this unit up to our disrupted unit. I'm amazed that these guys have not broken. Look at that. So many Karasi is getting shot, and they, re they refuse to break. Uh, okay, let's take a look over here. Got these guys. They can't move. These guys also are unable to move. Now, this unit can move. And actually, despite being disrupted, we might be able to get a pretty great attack on the enemy. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to charge in there. Uh, and hopefully, this is for... This is going to work for the best. We've also got this unit, right, guys? Remember, this guy just uh, reformed. And we're going to hit the unit on the flank. And hopefully, this will be enough to dislodge them. We're so close to winning. 51%. Uh, I mean, it only takes a little bit more for us to win. But we're not there yet. And and the units over here on the left side, the the I should say the Arkabaziers, the Dragoons, and the Commander Shot aren't exactly the best for making enemy units take off running. They're just not that effective at doing that. Um, so let's go ahead. Well, at least try to do some damage here, damage here to the enemy unit. And we're going to fire at the Karasier. Still disrupted. Um, we want to do better than that. And let's see if this cannon can shoot as well. I'm going to look for a damaged enemy unit. We may not be able to shoot. Might be time to uh, limber this guy and start moving up, yeah, moving him up. So that's what we're going to do. We'll also move this cavalry here. Uh, and we will end our turn. And let's see what happens, guys. It's all up to our men at this point. All right, melee damage. We auto-broke another enemy unit. Awesome, guys. Um, enemy Pikachu shot massively disadvantaged by our Swedish salvo of foot. Um, and now we're down to 55% of the enemy. We just need to break a little more of the enemy, and we've got this in the bag. Uh, another enemy unit dispersed. Another enemy unit dispersed. A lot of them are just giving up. They don't even want to retreat. They just want to run. But there we go. That's what we didn't want to happen. And sadly, our horsemen finally broke. Um, those veteran horsemen that have been there since the beginning of the battle can't take it anymore. Uh, they're bloody. They're beaten. They are in trouble. So there we go. All right. Nice. We're actually doing a very nice attack um, against the enemy horse unit. And maybe we can hit them with another charge and make them run in just completely off the field. Uh, that would be awesome. Looks like that unit has rallied. Uh, more units are running. Here we go. Disrupted. Um, and our unit won. Enemy unit disrupted. And we will continue attacking. Fragmented. We're so close here. Uh, let's continue. 
Catholic turn. Okay, guys. This is their turn. And they can do a lot of crazy stuff here to avoid losing. 23. Their guys are getting really good with the shooting. They're learning to aim for sure. Uh, steady shots by the enemy. And they managed to disperse our cannon unit. All right, here we go. We've got some more cavalry possibly returning to fight again. Uh, and we've got a flank attack. I was worried about that. That's just part of the battle. That's going to happen. Um, they've got a lot of cavalry. All right, one of their units is falling back. This is the disrupted unit, I'm sure, and indeed it is. In fact, we have a lot of disrupted units here, so we have to do everything we can to make sure that they break. <coughs> Here's the uh, Dragoon, or Light Hussar, excuse me. Uh, and actually, I always mistake the Light Hussar for an Arkabazir unit. Fragmented. All right, come on. Auto breaks. Beautiful, guys. We got the Cuirassiers to auto break. Uh, let's keep shooting. 22. Our men are getting pretty good at the shooting, too. And here we go. The melee phase. Still very close and indecisive. Uh, one of our units, unfortunately, dispersed. No more stomach for the fight. And there we go. We broke another unit, guys. Can we win? I feel like we're about to, uh, but I can't say for sure. Here we go. Four down. Dispersed. All right, of course, our heavy horse is running off the field, probably never to return, but uh, that's unfortunate. All right, we've got to make something happen here, guys. Um, so first things first, we're going to turn. Well, it looks like we can't turn, so we'll just move towards the enemy. Open fire here. We really want to do as much damage as possible to the disrupted units here. In fact, I'm even going to turn towards the enemy. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I wonder if I should shoot. Yeah, I'm going to shoot at that guy, since he's so close to breaking. Uh, we'll shoot at this guy just because we can't aim at the other guy for now. And let's move this uh, first Dragoons up. Open fire. Move these guys up as well. Open fire. And we'll start moving the rest of them up as well. Here we go. Can we shoot with the pike and shot? I don't think we can, because we've got a unit in the way. Uh, but at least we're, we're sort of figuring out what the enemy is capable of here. All right, let's hit those horsemen. And over here, we of course, we're still fighting the enemy. Uh, I would love to turn this pike shot pike unit away, but of course, right now, they are in a blood frenzy trying to chase down the rest of the enemy units. Uh, and we really do want to break this unit. Let's see if we can hit them. Uh, it's going to be close, and in fact, we are not having an advantage here. But like I said, you know, we're, we're very close here to winning, and we need to press our luck. Uh, we've got to take risks. Here we go. All right, this guy's not going anywhere. Let's take a look. All right, so this is actually uh, one of our finest units, the first veteran pike and shot. I'm going to move him up, and I'm going to fire into the flank of the disrupted unit here. Uh, and eventually, hopefully, we can go into war and into battle and actually fight these guys. But for now, all we can do is shoot. And we have to be content with just shooting. Here we go. Disrupted. All right, another unit disrupted. Every disruption helps us a little bit more, guys. Keep that in mind. We need one more break, I believe, and we win. We're going to go ahead and end here. Uh, and I hope we can make it all the way. We'll go ahead and unlimber the gun as well. Let's move this guy forward and unlimber him so that he can actually fire. Uh, and if we can fire... Nope, we can't fire on this side because we've lost that cannon. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we'll also start moving this unit forward. I'll actually turn him this way uh, and start going to the next turn. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, boys. Dispersed. Wow, I think that was an enemy unit dispersed, was it? Maybe not. Looks like one of their units rallied, and indeed it did. They're back to 56%. Ooh, they're actually doing pretty well against our Swedish Salvo of Foot. Can our Swedish Salvo of Foot keep fighting? All right, we've disrupted a veteran horse. Come on, guys. This is your moment of glory. Very close combat there. Nobody really with an advantage. And, of course, we still got a ton of enemy units routing, but any of these guys could you know, suddenly regain their morale and come back to the battle, and that's going to leave us in a very, very bad position. All right, there we go. Enemy unit is still routing. It looks like we may be charging into the enemy flank over here, and indeed we are. Boom! F disrupted flank attack. We didn't manage to break, but you know what? Not bad at all, and this is actually a Finnish Hakapaleta unit. I thought we lost them all. All right, here we go. Uh, one of our units is evading, and they actually just got hit by that attack. That's not good. Uh, here we go. I hope that our Dragoons will fire back. But they may not be able to. They may have expelled all their ammunition. There we go. That's not good. 
disrupted. Um, the enemy's just disrupted too, so that's the only thing working in our favor. And there we go, a flank attack. No, we can't have flank attacks on this unit. We were just doing so well over here. Um, we've got to find out what to do at this point. All right, there we go, open fire. Of course, they're bringing their units up to bear. Nobody's engaging in any charges. They're just trying to shoot each other off their horses, uh, shoot each other down, and, and win the battle that way. Uh, here we go, another charge by the enemy, and at least that one we managed to disrupt. Uh, but they've still got another unit over here that they could use against us, and it's a veteran horse unit. All right, the residual shooting phase. Come on, guys. I have trust in you here. Boom. Boom. Melee phase. Nothing. At least we held. And since we're being flanked... Yeah, we just broke. There we go. So our men broke on that side. That was inevitable. Um, they're continuing to chase us. And here we go. Melee on this side. Fragmenting the enemy. We need to break that enemy. Fragmenting is not enough. Indecisive, of course. Come on, men. Break through. Fragmented again. Once again, not enough. We did rally, though which is pretty awesome, and fragmented again. I mean, we're getting so many fragments, but without a victory, it makes no difference. Uh, it's Without them retreating and breaking, it makes no difference if they fragment. Come on, boys. And there we go. Now our guys are fragmented, and that was a vicious assault by the enemy here. Looks like our veteran horse have dispersed. Now we're only 13% away in terms of casualties. <coughs> All right, it is our turn. Can we win? I certainly hope so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, first things first, I'm going to try to turn towards this veteran horse unit and open fire, uh, since they are very close to breaking. Come on, guys. Three. You can do this. Shoot. See, we just can't break them. We just can't quite break them. Um, see if we've got anyone else here that can attack. shoot at that fragmented unit too, or that disrupted unit, I should say. Alright, let's try to charge. Oh, the charge, uh, our actual win percentage is quite low. Um, so we will not charge this unit. What we will do is bring these guys down and shoot the fragmented unit here. Let's see if we can shoot them from here as well. Maybe not. Man, it's close, guys. So close. All right, we'll open fire on that unit. Uh, we'll also start moving this pikeman up. Uh, and that's good that he's disrupted, but again, it's, it's close but no cigar. We need him to be disrupted a lot faster than that. Um, and we're now 56%. I mean, we don't have to break a lot more to get the enemy to fall back here, but, you know, at the same time, um, they don't have to break a lot more either. They don't have to break a lot more of our units. Uh, they're more or less about to break us. So we will probably go ahead, uh, I guess, continue firing at this guy here and just try to hold this position as best we can uh, and hope that the enemy doesn't break through our lines because right now it's it's very even either person could win this battle really especially since they broke us on this right side all right let's grab our horsemen and at least get them away from the enemy so they can't charge us there and let's end our turn here we go guys melee phase oh, come on i need my men here okay there we go guys we won we got them to 63 percent i'm pretty sure we won the battle um, we will continue. I think if they can beat our 63% route, then they can win. So there we go. Uh, hopefully this is a victory for Gustavus Adolphus, and more importantly for the Centurions here on the channel. Uh, let's take a look here. This is quite a long actual uh, video, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Alright, here we go. Enemy broke. Yes, they were flanking us and they broke. That's awesome. All right, some units are routing. That's not good. That still means they could win. If they manage to actual, uh, excuse me, rallying, if they manage to rally, uh, there's a good chance that they could come back from that 63% and still take a victory. Um, there are another unit dispersed. That's going to help. Catholic turn. This is really where the end is decided. The end of the battle is decided. Because if they can retreat, make more men of ours retreat than, than we did of them, then they could still win. Right, there's an impact hit, and we auto-broke. Yeah, we fell like a stone there. I mean, that was a vicious assault on the side. Uh, flanking attack. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, another flanking attack. This is what I didn't want to happen. 
Uh, hopefully our men can hold till the end of the battle so that we can snag that victory without much difficulty. And there we go. They're going to charge our pike and shot unit. I don't think that's a great idea on their part, but I guess if they have two cavalry units, yeah, it might be. Um, and they're definitely doing a lot of damage to our pike, pike and shot units. There we go. Our men are opening up. Looks like the residual shooting phase has commenced, or at the very least, we are returning fire. Um, and there we go. Our unit broke. This is what I'm worried about, guys. That entire right uh, cavalry line over here is, is hitting us hard. Um, and there we go. Residual shooting phase. Come on, boys. Fragmenting the enemy. Awesome. When we broke another enemy unit. Perfect. Now it's at 67%, guys. I think we can say this is a Swedish victory. Uh, auto breaks. And of course, it's Swede. Everyone is involved, essentially. In the general German area. Here we go. All right, they're running. As long as they're Protestants, they're part of our army. Uh, and melee fights are still continuing. I mean, the battle hasn't ended yet, guys. They could still beat us. 59%. If they can get us down over 67%, they win. And there we go. Three of our units just broke. This is not good. Uh, it's going to ultimately rely on who has more there in terms of retreats. Uh, it looks like one of our units rallied. Is, am I correct on that? The enemy has lost heart. We are victorious. We have won, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Um, a glorious victory. Um, and I want to see all uh, the casualties. And wow. So you could see here, we lost 548 men killed. Um, of course, we lost 348 of our horsemen killed. They were fighting very bravely. Uh, we have a lot of wounded men as well. But as you guys can see, look at this. Look at how many of the enemy we've defeated. We have put so many Catholics in the ground today. And we might be able to do very very well here um so let's go ahead and jump in we're gonna proceed oh and there we go it's a commissar bro hello my friend lost like 600 men in a turn oh interesting speaking of uh pike and shot uh that's quite interesting so um there we go guys i'm we're gonna continue the battle after of course or i'm gonna continue the next part of our campaign after but i'm gonna let you guys decide what you think we should do here um i think we should stay in these areas and uh take them over so that we can start getting uh income uh but i will leave it up to you thank you so much for watching guys i want to make sure that i save this pro uh, correctly because this game sometimes i accidentally load things um and we'll go ahead and save here um, thank you so much, guys. Take care. Have a great, great day.